Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. We are seeing about cursor related interview question. As a last question in this series, we will see about what is the difference between a named cursor or a normal PL SQL cursor versus ref cursors. In fact, we have seen enough information about cursor, ref cursor, parameterized cursor and the types of uh, uh, ref cursor, all these things. So in this video, I'm just going to give you the summary of difference between the cursor and the ref cursor. If you are watching this series for the first time, I would suggest you watch through the cursor and ref cursor related videos for a better understanding because most of the examples I'm going to show you here are already explained in detail in the previous videos. So I'll just quickly take you through the examples here for a better understanding of the uh, differences in terms uh, with respect to differences only. Uh, because we have seen enough information in fact like we have seen about a uh, line by line details of all these examples in the earlier videos itself fine let us start with our first exam uh, first difference so before that we'll see one example for a pl sql cursor or a normal cursor and one more example for ref cursor so here is a simple uh, anonymous block where i have declared a, a cursor variable called lc emp name for a select statement like select E name from employee where department equal to 10. That means this cursor is going to hold a list of employees who is working in the department 10. The moment this cursor is opened, this particular cursor location will hold the uh, results of the query executed by the uh, statement associated with the query. So the key information here is that in PLC named cursor or a normal cursor. So typically we will call it as a named cursor or a normal cursor. Uh, in normal cursor, the query is associated to the cursor name. Okay, so I just want to highlight this point. The query, whatever you are giving, is associated with the cursor name as part of the declaration itself, and it is a static query. It's not a dynamic query. So when you are declaring a uh, normal uh, cursor, you have to declare the query associated with that cursor also. Okay. So apart from that, I'm just looping through this and I'm just printing. Now we'll see one example for ref cursor. The key difference in terms of ref cursor is the association of the query. In normal cursor, the query is associated at the declaration point itself. Uh, whereas in the ref cursor, the query what you're going to associate to the ref cursor variable. If you can see here, I'm, I've declared a ref cursor variable here. For that variable, the query what you're going to assign is at the run time. It's not at the declaration time. As you can see here, the same uh, cursor variable that is LV ref cursor can be associated with different SQLs depends on the parameter here. Okay, so if I pass the parameter as ename, uh, the query which is associated to the ref cursor is select ename from employee. In case if I pass the parameter as D name, the query associated with that ref cursor is select D name from employee. And in fact, here this is a dynamic query. So it's not necessary that you have to associate a static query to a ref cursor. You can dynamically build a query and you can associate with that. So the, if I pass the parameter as job, then the query associated with uh, the ref cursor is select distinct of job from employee. In case of it is an invalid input, that's why I just put an else clause here. If I pass any other thing other than this, other than like ename, dname and job, the query associated with this ref cursor will be like select invalid input from dual. As you can see here in this case, all these four SQLs are completely different from each other. In fact, it is retrieving information from completely different tables altogether. And it's not necessary that it has to be a static SQL. It can be a dynamically generated SQL also. So the key learning here is in ref cursor, the query association is completely dynamic compared to the normal uh, cursor. And that is that this is the main difference between a normal cursor and a PL SQL cursor and this point must be part of your interview answer fine now let us see uh, the result of these two uh, blocks quickly then we'll see the rest of the difference so here is our anonymous block which is holding a, a normal PL SQL cursor I'm just executing the cursor is uh, open it's just looping through the memory location and it's printing the name of the employees who is working in department 10. Fine. So now let us create the procedure which is holding the ref cursor. So I'm just creating the procedure. So what this procedure is going to do, it's just going to take uh, an input called p underscore in. If the p underscore in is e name, it is just going to 
open a ref cursor for a select e name from employee and it, finally it is just going to print whatever the information is available in the cursor fine so now the procedure is created let me first execute this procedure with uh, parameter as e name as you can see the moment we pass the parameters as e name the first query that is select e name from employees associated with the ref cursor and that's the reason it's just printing the list of employee name fine now let me clear this now let us execute this procedure with input as d name when we pass the input as d name it is opening the second query that is select d name from employee and it is just printing the list of department name fine now let me just clear this off let me execute the um, procedure with input as job when we pass the input as job it is opening the cursor with select distinct of job from employee query so that's the reason it is printing the list of jobs available in the employee table fine suppose if you pass any other input obviously the last query will get uh, associated that is select invalid input from dual and that's the reason it is printing the invalid input fine so as we can see here the very first difference between the PL SQL cursor and the ref cursor is the way we are associating the query with the cursor variable in name named cursor or a normal cursor the query is static in definition that means the query associated with the normal cursor has to be defined as part of the cursor declaration itself whereas in terms of ref cursor the query is dynamic that is the query is not associated at the declaration time or definition time rather than the query is constructed dynamically and can be associated at the runtime so this is the main difference between pale sql cursor and the ref cursor fine now let us see one more example to understand our second difference so here is a <coughs> procedure uh, with it's almost similar to the same procedure what we have seen uh, in the first example but there is a small difference here so what i am doing here i am just taking an input based on the input i am just opening the ref cursor but here i am not just uh, looping through on printing instead i am just returning the ref cursor as a parameter you can see here this procedure is ha now having two parameter one is an input parameter and the second is an output parameter that two we are sending as a ref cursor output first is a var character input the second parameter is a ref cursor output so this procedure will simply take an input and return the ref cursor as the output fine now i am writing one more procedure which is just going to call the first procedure as you can see here i am creating a procedure called procedure print list which is going to take one parameter called p input and this is going to invoke our first procedure by passing the parameter first parameter and this will just go and invoke our first procedure once the first procedure returns the ref cursor and the ref cursor will be assigned to lc ref cursor variable here and after that i am just printing the information in the second procedure okay so this is what we are doing here okay when suppose if i execute the second procedure by passing e name what will happen is that the e name will be passed as an input to this second procedure second procedure will in fact invoke the first procedure by passing e name as a parameter since e name is a parameter the query associated to the ref cursor will be select e name from employee so the same thing will happen for the rest of the executions also however the key thing i want to highlight here is ref cursor can be passed as a parameter from one pl sql program to another pl sql program this is not possible in a normal cursor or a named pl sql cursor okay so in this case i am just passing the ref cursor to the second procedure in fact in a real time scenarios if you see we'll be passing ref cursors across the pl sql sub programs fine let us first execute this quickly then we'll go ahead with the next difference okay so here is the first procedure which is just going to return the ref cursor and it is it's just going to take one input parameter and based on the input parameter it is just going to return a ref cursor fine let me first create the first procedure yes the first procedure is created now let me create the second procedure which is just going to invoke the first procedure and it is go and it's going to print the informations from the ref cursor memory location so the second procedure is also created fine now let's invoke the second procedure that is procedure print list okay 
so let me invoke the second procedure now first i'm just going to print uh, invoke the second procedure with parameter as e name as you can see here the moment we passed the parameter as e name since the parameter is e name it's just opening the um, cursor with the select statement select e name from employee and that's the reason it's printing the list of employee name fine now let us invoke the second procedure with d name as input as expected it's opening the second uh, select statement that is select d name from employee and that's the reason it's printing the list of department name fine now let us invoke the third uh, thing with input as job as expected the cursor will be opened with the select statement select distinct of job from employee and that's the reason it's printing the list of jobs available in the employee table fine let's so execute the last one that is with input as abc it's printing invalid input the reason is for any other input other than e name d name and job the select statement associated with, with the ref cursor would be select invalid input from dual okay so the second key difference is the ref cursor can be passed as a parameter from one pl sql subprogram to the another pl sql subprogram whereas the normal cursor cannot be passed as a parameter from one pl sql subprogram to another okay so this is the second key difference so from interview point of view the first and second differences very much important and these two difference must be part of your answer fine now let us see the third difference okay so here i'm just going to <coughs> take the same procedure like whatever we have created in the second example that is which is just going to take one input parameter and it is just going to return a ref cursor so based on the input parameter it is just going to open the different select statement at runtime right so this is this i'm just taking the same procedure so the key thing here is that ref cursors can be returned to a client so in the previous example you have seen like ref cursors can be passed as a parameter from one pl sql subprogram to another pl sql subprogram so what i'm trying to say here is that the ref cursors can be returned to the client that is the one who is invoking the pl sql programs i mean the third party languages like java or python or whatever the languages any language that can interact with oracle can receive the output as a ref cursor also so here is a simple example i just want to show you in fact i have showed you uh, a similar example in the previous video also i just want to quickly show you here okay so here is a, a simple example based on python which is just going to invoke this procedure now that is procedure get list as you can see here they are just passing they are invoking the procedure get list with two parameter one is like whatever the input parameter that is first for the first param input parameter i'm passing e name and the second is an output parameter it's going to return a ref cursor and i'm just finally going to print the ref cursor okay so the key learning here is that ref cursors can be returned to the client okay which is not possible in a normal cursor we'll quickly execute this program then we'll come back to the next difference I'm going to take the same procedure. In this case, we don't need the second procedure, so I'm just taking only the first procedure. The first procedure is created. So here is the Python code. As you can see here, I'm just connecting to the DB here. After connection, I'm just creating a, uh, a Python variable to hold the ref cursor, which I'm passing as a second parameter to this procedure. That is procedure get underscore list. The first parameter I'm passing as e name. First, let me execute this Python code with input as e name so as expected uh, this program is printing the list of employees working in the uh, or list of employees available in the employee table fine now let me make it as d name let me clear the log here now let us execute with input as d name so when we pass d name as input it's just invoking the select d name from department query and it is just printing the result so let me just make it as job obviously when we pass job as an input the cursor will be associated with select distinct of job from employee and that's the reason the output we are getting is like list of jobs available from the employee table so anything other than these three input let's say xyz it will print the invalid input <coughs> yeah so it's printing the invalid input so the key learning here is that ref cursor can be passed 
as a or can be returned to the client whereas a normal cursor cannot be returned to the client so this is the third key difference let's see our fourth difference now um, so here uh, i'm i'm just declaring the cursor as part of a package so i'm declaring three cursors one is called employee list one is called employee list 10 and another is called employee list 20 and i'm writing an um, anonymous block basically just to open the cursor that is m package name dot cursor name what we declared in a package okay so the key learning here is that a normal cursor can be a global cursor what i mean by global cursor is you can define a cursor in a suppose if you have a plan to use the same cursor across your application in multiple places then what you can do you can declare your cursor in some uh, package specification and you can reuse the same cursor across your application the way you are seeing here here we are declaring the cursor employee underscore list in a package and we are using in an another anonymous block i am just showing you in an anonymous block it's not necessary that you have to use only an anonymous block in fact you can use in any other procedure or function as well that the key learning here is that the normal cursor can be a global cursor let us just quickly execute this program and we will come back to the difference okay here is the package i am creating the package specification is created now let me put set server output on yeah now i am just invoking the anonymous block as you can see here it is just opening the cursor whatever we have declared in the specification and i am just fetching and i am just printing the informations so the key learning here is that the normal cursor can be a global cursor that means you can define in any other package specifications and it can be reused across your plsql application so the key uh, difference here is a normal cursor can be defined in a package and can be used globally across other plsql subprograms whereas a ref cursor cannot be defined outside of a procedure and function so these are the four key main difference from interview point of view your answer should contain the first and second difference because these are the two key differences right all the uh, blocks and the procedures whatever i showed you here is available in this blog link and the link is given in the description if you learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video